are you struggling to create a letterhead for your business if the answer is yes then this video is for you because in it i'm going to show you how to create this beautiful letterhead in word hello guys this is online office teacher where i help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one so if you are new here consider subscribing that's it let's create our letterhead have an open word i go over to insert i click on shapes and i go ahead and choose rectangle i come in here and draw my rectangle across my paper something like this after inserting the shape i'll get drawing tools and the shape format i click on align and i choose align center so that my shape will be aligned in the middle of the paper the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate this rectangle so i can just hold down ctrl plus d on the keyboard to have a duplicate of the rectangle then i'm going to go ahead and place it right on the first one just like this and i'll go ahead and reduce the size of the second rectangle just like that take note there's no unique measurement the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and remove the outline of the rectangle that is the one selected so i click on shape outline then i choose no outline i'll do the same thing here so i select it and i go ahead and choose no outline perfect next this particular rectangle that is the bigger one i'll change the shape fill to black and this small one i'll go to shape fill again and i'm going to go ahead and choose maybe this blue i want to use a particular color that's going to be in line with the logo i'll be inserting later so if i go ahead and insert the logo i'll just choose a blue color that will match up with my logo so the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and insert my logo so i can click aside then i go ahead and click on insert pictures this device i have my logo in here i just select it then i click on insert with this i won't be able to move it from one location to another so what i'm going to do is i select the image then i'll go ahead to picture tools under format i click on wrap text then i go ahead and choose in front of text with this i'll not be able to move it from one location to another so i'll just place it right here and i'll reduce the size To this match and i think the color is quite the same but i can still get something close so i select the shape go to shape format shape fill and i go to more fill colors i'll choose standard let me choose this and i click on ok okay i think i'm close maybe i've not gotten the exact color but it's close the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and enter my address in here for that i will have to insert a text box so i go over to insert i click on text box and i go ahead and click on draw text box if i want i could just click on simple text box but i want to draw my own text box so i click on it and i come in here and draw my text box just like that you can open it up if you want and I'll go ahead and enter in my address. So I'll just enter this pretty quick and get back to you. All right, I've entered my text. Maybe I can go ahead and bold the headings up. Perfect. And you see that the text box has come with a white background. I don't need that. So I make sure it is selected. Then I go to shape format and the drawing tools shape fill i choose no fill and now because of the black background i can't see my text so i can select all by pressing ctrl plus a key on the keyboard then i go over to home font color i choose white awesome i will go back to shape format again and then choose no outline for shape outline the next thing i'm going to do is First of all, let me align my text box properly so that the space up here and down here will be almost the same. So next, I go over to insert, then I choose shapes. 
I'll go ahead and choose simple line and I'll draw it on the left side line of the text box just like this and I'll change the color shape outline to this color that is the same color the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate this shape that is this blue rectangle so I just select it then I go ahead and press ctrl key plus D I move it right here and I'm going to rotate it so I go over to rotate make sure you are under shape format and I choose rotate left 90 degrees and I'll take it to the far end like this then I'll drag and open to the end if you are not sure if it is in the middle you can just go to align and choose align center so this will serve as my footer and this my header at the moment you will be able to see the insertion points clearly for instance if I click here you see it right here blinking so if I want to type this is where my text will begin to appear from if I want to take it to somewhere this location I need to press enter if I press enter you see that it will move my shapes and I don't want that so I'll just go ahead and click on undo and one thing I can do is I can double click right here to start typing away if I don't want to do that I can go over to insert then I click on text box then I go ahead and choose draw text box so I'll just go ahead and draw my text box in here where I can always enter my text that is the body of my letter so I can get this match perfect then inside here I go ahead and type my letter however I will need to change the shape field to no field and the shape outline no outline so in here I can always go ahead and enter the content of my letter all right I've just entered my content I have my date in here the recipient's address and the body of my letter so this is how you can go about entering the content of your letter so that's all what I want to do with regards to designing this letterhead one little trick I can show you is that you can organize the header section of your letterhead in such a way that it won't always get disorganized for instance you won't be able to move the logo and the rest of the shapes so I'll reverse it then what I'm going to do is select this then holding down control key on the keyboard I go ahead and select the rest of the objects so I select this blue rectangle the black rectangle this little line right here and then the text box now I go over to drawing tools shape format group click on group then all of these shapes will become one object perfect so one thing I can do is select the entire shapes together just like this then I go over to home click on cut everything will vanish then I double click up here to enable header then I go ahead and paste it so I go to home click on paste take note it won't be at the perfect location so I can go to drawing tools shape format align then I choose align center then I can use my up arrow keys to move it to the top so I make sure I close the space right here perfect I can go ahead and double click right here to disable header and footer so in this case even if I have more than one page my header will still be repeated on the second page I can zoom out to see the entire letter head awesome take note this particular portion is grid out doesn't mean if we print that is how it's going to be I can go to preview and you see that everything will show clearly so this is yet another letterhead design you can create for your business. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.